Hey, so just a quick video today to show you two debug overlays I've added to Logic World this week. Uh, firstly, if you press F3, you can now see a little frames per second overlay in the top left so you can see how well your game is running. Uh, and that'll probably be a better demonstration if I unlock the frame rate so you can actually see it changing and updating. And if I... where's the start button? Where's the start button? Hold on. Here we are. If I press start, and the frame rate's going to go down a little bit because there's a lot happening. Uh, but it's still pretty high. Game is still running pretty well. Uh, and the other debug overlay I've added is if you press F4, you can now see a little display with your coordinates in the world. Um, so you'll notice um, yeah, they're changing as I move around. If I move up and down, then the Y value changes because Y is the up direction. Um, the playable area of Logic World is quite big. It's 30 kilometers cubed to be precise, so it can be handy to have a little pop-up uh, GPS essentially to see where you are. And by the way, the coordinates display is properly aligned with the top left, uh, even if the frames per second display is off, so like, that's all, the alignment is handled correctly. Now, I haven't really shown this on YouTube before, but Logic World has a ton of secret settings, uh, which are obscure properties about the game that you can tweak by editing this file here. Uh, so I want to show you a couple of secret settings I added for the debug overlays all the way at the bottom. Zoom in. Uh, so we can take the font size and we can make it uh, super big so it's easier to see. We can also change the uh, color of the debug text. So we'll make it red, but we'll make it like partially transparent. Um, and there's a couple other things here. There's a whole bunch of secret settings. But if we go back into the game and we turn on the debug text again, we can see that it's now big like I specified and red like I specified. So. Yeah, I personally like the kind of minimalist, uh, just small white text in the top left, but if you want to do something different, then, uh, you know, that's an option to you. Go for it. Uh, by the way, thank you to Ryan for building this amazing 4-bit CPU. It's it's a really fun thing to, to play around with and test. Uh, so yeah, I will see you next Wednesday.